Dear students, dear colleagues, my name is Andriy Holovko. I am professor of Ukrainian National Forestry University and I will be happy to uh, to tell you something about forestry in Ukraine. First of all, let me tell you a few words about Ukraine in general. Ukraine is the biggest country of Europe by the area, but it is not so uh, populated as, for example, Germany, or Italy or France. Uh, the population of Ukraine is 45 million people and current uh, current assessment uh, show results that even uh, we have even less number of population. Uh, the density of population is not uh, so high also comparing with our Euro European countries. It's uh, is 71 person per square kilometer which just also can be as an indicator of uh, pressure to the ecosystems ukrainian ukraine also not the leader by the uh, gdp level in ukraine we have 10.4 million hectares of forest area 9.6 of which are covered with forests. Um, forest coverage of the country is 15.9% of the total area. Growing stock assessed on the level 2.1 uh, billion cubic meters. Average annual increment 8 cubic meters and harvest rate in uh, 2019 was 21 million cubic meters per year. Growing stock in the country uh, unevenly distributed. The main uh, part of growing stock are accumulated on the northern and western part of the country and consequently uh, southern and eastern part of the country uh, uh, contains lo uh, low level of growing stock. Growing stock also correlated with the um, forest coverage of the country and as you see western and northern region regions has a uh, higher level of forest coverage. This slide can demonstrate us that Ukraine is not uh, uh, the most forested area in the Europe. As you can see, it uh, belongs to the countries with uh, lowest level of uh, forest resources. In this case, uh, the uh, forest area within the countries is presented. After World War II, uh, Ukrainian forest resources uh, were heavily, very heavily used. As a consequence of this, the growing stock was decreased, as you can see, in uh, 1961 to 753 billion, million cubic meters. And uh, since that time, Soviet government implemented the policy on increasing growing stock in the forest of Ukraine. And this uh, policy is still applied even today in Ukraine. This also impacted on the uh, age structure of forests, uh, in which medium aged forests are dominated. Ukraine also is the country with low level of annual increment use. About 50% of annual increment are, are current, currently used in Ukraine. Um, 
or even uh, less because we have different uh, approaches to assessment of annual increment. In this case, uh, based on the data of uh, European Forest Institute, it was assessed that uh, we have a bit more than eight um, uh, cubic meters per hectare annual increment. But according to the national assessment, according to assessment of uh, National Forest Inventory Institution, average annual increment uh, comprises four hectares, uh, four cubic meters per hectare. Um, here you can see the chart which shows the structure of forest area by the dominant species. The biggest uh, area belongs to pine forests in Ukraine. A big share also belong to oak. And uh, I want to brought your attention that quite big share belongs to Robinia and also our other exotic species. current feature of forest management of Ukraine can be characterized of um, increasing the number of protected areas within the forests. Currently about 70% of forest area used by State Agency of Forest Resources of Ukraine is allocated as protected area. Among these areas there are fitting of natural conservation institutions which have separate administration and management, among them uh, six natural reserves, six national parks and one park. And the rest of uh, protected areas is the uh, area allocated in the forestry enterprises and consequently, consequently managed and uh, protected by forestry enterprises without other separate uh, management or administrations. Big share of protected forest and also uh, uh, forest management practice uh, allows allow to preserve very valuable for research forests. As you can see on this picture, this is example of um, the most precious forest in Ukraine. This is Uvalka Sharoka Luch Masil. As you can see, um, uh, uh, this is uh, different ages, ages uh, pure beach forest. For Ukraine as well for our neighboring countries, uh, common uh, tendency of dieback of uh, coniferous forests. And not only coniferous, but con coniferous uh, is uh, more uh, uh, subjected to, to this process. You, uh, you can see that about uh, 270,000 hectares subject to the back in 2019. On these pictures you can see the examples of such dieback process. This is pine uh, forest of Polisia and spruce forest of Carpathians. And of course, dieback of forest leads to big areas of clear cut, clear -cut and selective uh, sanitary loggings. Uh, as a consequence of this, we can see big, a big deforested area, areas, uh, and this could lead uh, to some undesirable consequences, like in this case, uh, erosion of the soils. Um, 
In Ukraine, natural regeneration and planting of the forests are used as the main way of forest regeneration. Uh, and of course, share of plantings are higher than natural regeneration. Each forestry enterprise has uh, their own nursery on which they prepare seedlings, uh, they plant the seedlings for reforestation. And you, as you can see, the way how uh, pine stands are planted. As you, you can see on the slide, Ukraine has relatively big share of exotic species, pure actually uh, uh, forest of exotic species um, inside of uh, forest area of Ukraine. This is one of such example, uh, actually example of aggressive distribution of on the area of forest plantings of Quarkus robur. And as I can see, the chances of Quercus robur to be planted on this area is very low. On this slide, you can see the dominant types of logging which are applied in Ukraine. Uh, among commercial logging, selective and progressive and clear-cut logging are applied. The share of clear-cut logging is much higher. Selective uh, logging are very rarely used. Mainly progressive logging are used in the are used in the uh, fir and beech forests. On the next slide, you can see the practice of uh, timber harvest in Ukraine. Here we can uh, we can see clear cut logging it could be sanitary or commercial logging uh, as we can see uh, forest planting will be applied as a, a way of uh, reforestation in this area and uh, before planting uh, in, in many cases tin residues or biomass which are left on the logging site are burned in order to to uh, clean the surface for the forest planting. This is not the best example of final stage of progressive, progressive logging. The aim of progressive logging is to uh, establish opportunities for natural regeneration and after a year, uh, the final stage of progressing, progressive tooling is applied. This is the common uh, practice of timber extraction from wing side. Uh, for this purpose, uh, skidding trails are used. A uh, good practice uh, after logging is completed is to rec is to reclaim to re is reclamation of such ski trails. In many cases, ski trails are used a uh, few times uh, for different logging sites, which uh, located on the path of such ski trail. In some cases, the length of such ski a trail could be from three to five kilometers. The reason for this is uh, very low density of forest road in Ukrainian forests. The contribution of forest sector in Ukraine is not very high. And as you can see on this chart, uh, the share of uh, woodworking industry or pulp and paper industry is not very high in Ukraine. Um, this is information for 2010, but currently situation 
not change uh, from from that time. Now, this is the number of employees employed at uh, forestry enterprises, state forest enterprises of Ukraine. As you can see, this is about uh, 50,000 of people, which is much less comparing with our countries. Uh, with the same forest area, we can see, for example, we can choose for comparison Poland. Uh, Poland has approximately the same area of forests and also um, forests are managed by the state forestry enterprises and we can see that number of employees employed in the forestry of Poland uh, almost twice uh, less than in Ukraine. Our explanation of such amount of people employed at forestry enterprises of Ukraine can be uh, that about 10 person, 10 percent of harvested timber is processed by the sawmills mills of the forestry enterprise, and this allowed to uh, to employ a bit more people than in the uh, average forestry enterprise. You can see uh, the key indicators of uh, forestry, uh, furniture and woodpocking industry development. Of course, if we will compare the same indicators, uh, Ukraine and Germany, we will see that Ukrainian number of employees or number of economic entities will be maybe 10, time, 10 times less than in Germany. And also uh, we can conclude uh, that Ukrainian forestry sector is uh, mainly export oriented and after prohibition of timber export, uh, timber products with a relatively low level of processing like lumber, for example, are exported. Big share of Ukrainian forests are certified. It's about half of forest area. Uh, currently, only FSC scheme of forest certification is applied in Ukraine. But, uh, but also PFC standard uh, at this time are on the stage of uh, development and um, we can assume that in the near future maybe next year uh, PFC uh, scheme of certification will be applied in Ukraine you can see the prevailing uh, three species which are harvested in Ukraine. The pine occupies the biggest share in this structure. Also a big share belongs to oak which is very uh, valuable um, timber product, valuable timber in Ukraine and also in the world timber market. This is volume harvest by cubic meters. Also, we can see that pine and oak occupies the biggest share. A bit uh, information about history of uh, forestry, forest administration, may, maybe in Ukraine. Uh, after collapse of uh, Soviet Union in Ukraine, we have we had two types of forestry enterprise. One of them is complex enterprises in which different uh, kind of uh, operations was concentrated. Uh, at such type of enterprise, uh, the processing of timber products 
started from planting and finishing from uh, furniture pro producing or other type of uh, timber products with very high level of processing. And uh, other type of enterprises, it's uh, just forestry enterprises, which was specialized on harvest operation and uh, processing of timber can be used there, but only low level of processing. In uh, 1996, the complex forestry enterprises was split into two parts. The uh, forestry part was separate from the processing part and processing part was subjected to uh, privatization. During this project, with the process, most of assets of forestry enterprise was lost. And actually this leads to very deep prices of forestry enterprises in, in the mentioned, mentioned regions. Um, other forestry enterprises uh, was in a better, better conditions. The state uh, body responsible for forest management in Ukraine is the state agency of resources of Ukraine, uh, subordinate to Ministry of Energy and Environmental Protection of Ukraine. The uh, forest administration in Ukraine is highly centralized. Most of decisions are concentrated at the state agency of forest resources of Ukraine. Uh, this agency have, has in their in its subordination scientific and research institutions, uh, forest inventory institution, uh, regional forestry and hunting boards, and other enterprises and organizations responsible for forest management in Ukraine. A state agency of forest resources in Ukraine has also forestry enterprises in their direct subordination. Uh, the function of control uh, also performed by the Department of Environmental Protection and Natural Resources as a regional administration. Uh, two types of forest ownership applied in Ukraine is state ownership and communal ownership. Uh, due to this fact, in Ukraine, um, forests are distributed between uh, forest users. Forest users. The biggest forest user is state agency of forest resources of Ukraine. But in addition to this, we have other users among, among them, uh, for example, Ministry of Infrastructure, uh, which is managed forest along the uh, roads and railways, Ministry of Energy and Environmental Protection in Ukraine, which manage uh, mainly uh, protected areas within the forest of Ukraine. Local governments which manage communal forests to Ukraine. And a uh, very interesting part of this chart this is 7.5 forests, lands which are not assigned to forest users, are not assigned forest users. And actually, this part of forests are not recognized by national legislation, national like forest inventory materials as forests. This is, uh, for example, uh, a forest agricultural lands or so-called reserve lands. This is the same structure of the Lviv region of Ukraine. 
and interesting part of this structure is Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. The part of the share of this uh, state body is noticeable in the structure of Lviv region uh, for users. the dynamics of uh, volume of harvest in Ukraine and uh, as uh, we can see in nines uh, we have deep economic crisis and uh, almost with lower level of harvest comparing with current times but I can I can tell you that this uh, level of harvest is approximately the same that was applied in Soviet times. This means that after the economic crisis, uh, first Ukraine reached the level which not be assessed as uh, exhaustive level of uh, forestry. Because it mentioned before, we use a very low share of annual, annual agreement of timber in Ukraine. The question which are very often asked by foreigners is about illegal logging in Ukraine. Uh, here we can see official statistics on legal logging in Ukraine. This chart with this number of cases, real cases, real logging. And the second chart is about cubic meters volume of illegal logging. I think that this uh, tendency is only explained by uh, changing the person who uh, was assigned to the head of the agency Ukraine. Uh, after that, they applied some new approach to maybe a statistic of illegal logging in Ukraine. But still, if, if we are, are talking about actual level of illegal logging, it is different than uh, reflected in official statistics. As you can see in this number, it's about half a percent of uh, total volume of uh, harvest. Uh, if we will ask expert opinion of Ukrainian experts uh, in the area of forestry, they will tell you that actual volume of logging comprises from 10 to 50 percent of uh, official volume of harvest, which is about from two to six, uh, from two to six uh, million cubic meters per year. My sources of illegal logging, logging is officially identified cases of illegal logging which is reflected in official statistics. Um, uh, this manipulation growing stock accounting during logging sites allocation. Uh, this source involves participation of forest guard service and employees of forest enterprises uh, to illegal activity. And the last sources, but not least, uh, also big source, related to mentioned before, 7.5% of uh, forest area were not assigned to forest users. Uh, around many of settlements, we have such unmanaged forest forests which are used by local 
calculation for the satisfaction of where needs in firewood or wood for construction. Uh, many of foreign experts uh, assess uh, forest administration of Ukraine as very high regulated by the legal uh, rules or regulations. This is not full, not complete list of regulations which are applied to forestry of Ukraine. I can say that each step of forestry of foresters in Ukraine is prescribed by some state regulation, regulation or uh, order or other legal document. If you will be interested to learn more about regulation in the for state regulation in the forestry of Ukraine, I will answer any of your questions and I can provide you more or less complete list of national legislation in the area of forest management. What changes was applied since Soviet time in the forest management of Ukraine? Uh, we can also make a conclusion uh, that these change changes uh, not lead to uh, to the worst practice in forest management, but mainly they uh, directed into the best direction, let's say. For example, the uh, maximum area for clear cuts was reduced to three to three hectares for coniferous forest and five hectares for decision forest. Uh, as you can see, at Soviet times it was uh, five and ten hectares. Uh, and even uh, more, after adoption of law of Ukraine on environmental impact assessment, uh, maximum area of uh, logging which I applied in Ukraine was reduced even to one hectare because such area are applied by the forestry enterprises which are trying to avoid formal avoid formal uh, environmental impact assessment. The division forest into categories was modified instead of two Soviet categories it was uh, implemented four categories among them protective forests uh, forest with recreational purpose uh, forest of conservation scientific historical and cultural purpose and exploitative forests which not have any restrictions on forest management uh, it was prohibited uh, uh, clear-cut loggings in the fir and beech forest in the uh, Car uh, Carpathians. It was implemented compulsory environmental impact assessment uh, to the clear-cuts larger than one hectare. National standards of timber quality was harmonized if, with European standards, uh, which allows to prevent violations during timber export. export. Electronic accounting systems was implement, system was implemented in Ukraine, and uh, this system creates a lot of opportunities for increasing level of transparency of decision making in the forest management of Ukraine and uh, for example uh, uh, the map was developed by the uh, state agency of forest resources of, of Ukraine uh, this map contains information on current logging operations 
for for the uh, for each forest users of user of Ukraine. So people who are interested in uh, control of legality of forest management or control of level of logging can online observe the logging site which are processing at some uh, moment of time. Um, allocation and preservation of, of old growth forests. forests. Uh, according to the current edition of Forest Code of Ukraine, if old growth forests are allocated, any kind of management activity is prohibited within these forests. Uh, now this process is ongoing, but uh, there is a hope that after allocation of such forest, we will uh, increase level of protected forests even more than 70 persons. And this level of protection will be the highest. Uh, also, uh, sale of timber by the means of action sales was implemented and also our cha changes, changes uh, which we can discuss if you will have further questions. Thank you for your attention. I will be happy to answer any your question. Uh, you can ask me by email or by other means. Um, I hope that this information was interesting to you and hope you I, I hope to communicate you soon. Goodbye.